Hey everybody, for this tutorial I'm going to do something a little different. What I'm going to do is show you how quick and easy it is to make a map uh, for use uh, in map tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, load my campaign here. Oops, that's the wrong button. Uh, file, recent campaigns, get it booted up here. Okay, great, it's loaded. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go and we're going to go to map, new map, click the map, pick uh, one of the pre-generated maps here, so it's kind of a gray color there, and then the background, instead of having grass, because it really doesn't fit in with the dungeon, we'll just go with some texture here, uh, we'll go with some of the default textures, uh, kind of this cracked mud. Alright, it's in there, so click OK, and what we're going to do is then zoom out a little bit here and just to make my life easy I'm gonna shrink a couple of these bars here uh, so I can see more of the map at once and so what I'm gonna do then is the first thing I'm gonna do is adjust my grid so that my token that I can put on here will fit appropriately so I'm gonna go to view grid you can also do control G uh, and now so I can see that uh, my grid row doesn't match up with my token, so what I'm going to do then is go to adjust grid, which is control shift A, and I'm going to fit it. I know for this particular grid that this has 40 will fit, oops, 40, will sit nicely right on the map, and now you can see all those tiles are nicely aligned. So what I'm going to do is close that so I don't accidentally uh, start my, move my grid around. Incidentally, you can move the grid around uh, when you have that uh, adjust grid open. So what I'm going to do here is start uh, drawing in my topology. And so what I'm going to do is go to topology tools. I'm going to use, uh, let's go with a hollowed square for now. And so I'm going to do something like this. Actually, I'm going to change that up. I'm going to use the uh, the line tool, so I'm just going to start going to start tracing the outside of this uh, dungeon. Um, so it's one line. Uh, left click ends drawing lines. Uh, right click will allow you to draw around corners. So in this example, I'm going to do oh, I'll zoom in here a little bit. So work my topology. And so I'm going to do like this and left click right click and I'm not being super neat but you get the general idea so then I'm going to do the same thing over here I'm going to do a left click here and draw it to here and the same thing over here and I'm going to try and draw this as neat as I can oops uh, go like this it looks like there's something there uh, where the characters would kind of see some sort of bubble or breakdown um, again, I'm not the best drawer in the world, you have to live with that, um, you can, uh, so we'll just, uh, oops, whoops, I just need to move the map to actually draw it correctly. Um, so what I'm going to do, whoops, sorry about that, is go like this, and up, over, Cheat here and go it straight across. Uh, there, there, there. And then we'll just cheat and double it back. And we'll do that, and then we'll draw a line in here for this guy. So I'm going to divide that from later. Draw a line in here. Just do a quick left click and then right, or right click and left click. Just to kind of get everything evened up. And then we'll finish going around the uh, the perimeter here and then start working inside. So just click. And. Boom. 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 Uh, you could also, if you have a, a more closed structure, you could also just uh, draw a hollow box initially to save yourself a lot of this time. Uh, we just don't have that luxury here in this case. 
here. We'll get it to here. And then we'll just uh, finish it up. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's double it up. It's fine. Again, you know, if you're doing it um, a little more carefully for a real campaign, obviously, uh, you can get it things a little more neatly and I align. I'm just kind of going for a general uh, feel here. Okay, and then we're just gonna assume that this guy kind of goes like this. So it's gonna be like that. Oops. And then uh, we'll draw, uh, well, let's do this whole area here real quick. Like that. Over. Up, and we'll just go like right across here, and boom. We'll draw a line in here for this guy. Okay, so now you can see we got all the perimeter done. So now we're going to do some of the internal walls. Um, again, we're just doing the same thing, so it's not really anything fancy here. Um, so we're just going to draw that. This guy in there. Um, remember that you can always, if you want to just draw a big box and then erase it out, you can use the shift, hold down the shift key when drawing these lines or any of the shapes for the topology tool, and that will act as an eraser. Uh, but uh, yeah, do it however you like it, and it'll. It's pretty straightforward. It's uh, tracing, so if you're beyond first grade, you should be able to do this. I hope. Okay, we'll draw this wall in here. And we'll draw this guy like that. Oops. And now I'm trying to draw in between the edges of the wall so that it can be seen from both sides uh, for the player's purposes. Uh, so it's kind of one of the things you want to do because if it's bigger than the wall, then they can't see the wall, uh, even if they're on top of it. So you don't want them walking into walls, generally speaking. Like this. And so that's why you notice that these walls are actually uh, a bit thicker uh, than uh, the one grid line. Uh, another thing I should point out is you can adjust uh, the line here. You can adjust the uh, tool size. Uh, for your drawings, so you can increase or decrease the line size. You cannot do that for the topology tool. It's just a solid, uh, simple, uh, I think it's one pixel line. So at any rate, so let's just finish this guy off here. Oops, you know, so I accidentally used a wall. Doesn't matter, I'm still inside the line, so we'll be able to see from both sides. Uh, that guy. Draw a wall in here. done. Okay. Alright. Uh, done all the walls now. So if I zoom out, kind of see the faint blue outlining on all the walls. Uh, there's a couple other things that I want to put topology in in this map. Uh, these columns. So I'm just going to use the hollow line tool. You can also use the solid. It really doesn't matter because nobody's going to go inside of it. Um, I just want to kind of let them be able to at least see the edges of these pillars. Uh, and so then we're going to do that. And do that. And that one. Uh, and that is about it as far as topology. So I'm going to pause the recording here and then I'll make a second. And we'll look at uh, Fog of War real quick, and we'll demonstrate that we actually can do topology well on this map now. So, be right back.